Dennis Gold, Nancy from Money, Bacal Bar, Ochi de Cash, Millionaire, Ponya G Cash. I am a millionaire. There it is, I said it. But guys, relax, it's just in random fronts. But I know personally that for me, it really counts because even though I really started working full time since I was very young, I, I started working full time when I was 18 years old. And nine years later, when I think about how naive I've been, like if I had started saving at that age, I would be dangote or something. Welcome to Nice Life 101, where we talk about all things personal finances, minimalism, and travel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about 10 easy tips for Gen Zs and millennials to save money so that we can achieve our financial goals. I'm literally going to be spilling the tea on how I managed to save my first 1 million. And I know in our culture, we're not used to, you know, sharing this because every time you ask somebody, oh, how are you doing? They're like, oh, we don't have the culture of actually boldly talking about our success. We always have to keep it humble. And this actually makes us get keep some of the tips that can help others. So in this video, we are not doing that. I am going to be sharing with you the tips that have helped me so that you too can use them. I'll be really honest and vulnerable about the mistakes that I've made. Maybe I made those mistakes so that you don't have to. If you are new here, you're not alone, even myself. This is um, one of my very first video on this platform. So please don't subscribe yet. Just uh, give this video a few seconds or minutes. And if you find that this is the kind of content that would add value to your life, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And uh, please also like this video. It's a very easy way for you to support con free content creators like myself. And it helped this video reach more people that can benefit from it. So let's uh, not, you know, take so much time. Let's directly dive into the video and go with tip number one. Tip number one is please don't keep up with Joneses. Because we, as Gen Zs, as millennials, it's so easy to just know what's trending. It's so easy to know what, who and who in Australia, in the US, in the UK, or in Kigali is wearing or is eating, where they are traveling to. So there is, it's so easy to succumb to the pressure of feeling like, oh, I have to do what so-and-so is doing. Personally, when I started working, you know, earning some money, I would like step out and I would see, you know, a few people selling things that I'm about to choose up to Buruze. And I'll just go like and start buying things. Not because I really liked those to Buruze. It's because I just felt like, oh, I've seen so-and-so wearing that. But over the years, I've actually learned that. I've realized that I actually spent so many years without using or wearing any of these things that uh, I've been constantly buying to try and keep up with the Gen Z's. So one of the things that actually consume our money as Gen Z's, as millennials, is things that we buy because other people have them. Tip number two, save money on the two biggest expenditures that everybody has. These are transport and rent. There are so many ways we can save money on rent. Um, whether you know you can look at the neighborhood that you live in or what i do personally you can have a roommate or you can airbnb one of the, your rooms because sometimes you know you want to live in uh, you know a decent house but when you actually have a house that has two rooms or three rooms it's so easy for you to just put it online and allow people to come stay with you so that you can you know try and um maybe divide by half the money that you were supposed to pay on rent. And another easy way is um, saving on transport. Also, it comes back to the neighborhood that you choose. Where are you working? Can you try and make sure that you find a house that's closer to your work? And are you going to choose to buy a car? A car is a big expense. I own a car, I know. And it's, um, I know that sometimes you can try and, uh, you can buy a car because you are trying to, keep up with the Joneses, but if you live in a city or neighborhood where you can easily take a moto, like a Boda Boda, like a bike to work, or maybe you can, uh, I don't know, walk from the office to your house sometimes. This is a very easy way to um, save up um, 
money that you would usually spend on that in rent and transport they are the biggest expenses for most people that i know really in my age as in, as gen z's and millennials the money that you pay for that house and the money that you pay for transport that's where you should look at if you're trying to cut costs tip number three cancel unused subscriptions i know there was a time that i, I bought a gym subscription and i am not a gym person I have realized that over the years, I can do other types of workouts. I can use YouTube and do some yoga. But because everybody around me was buying these subscriptions, I felt like, oh, I have to also buy it. But I ended up not using it and it was a lot of money. It was really, you know, it's money lost personally. So please look at the subscription that you're paying. It doesn't have to be a gym subscription. It can be Netflix. If you don't, if you're not a movie person and maybe you only watch one movie, a month do you really need that netflix subscription maybe you can find somebody i call them landlords who can you know give you their netflix account and you can try and pay it together so when is the last time that you reviewed your bank statement when is that maybe you haven't even asked for it for, you know in a long time because i know so many people ask for these statements if they're applying for visas and all that but it's really important for you to know where your money is going because it's so easy to subscribe to things especially these digital products and you can forget and they keep charging your bank you are not realizing that it might not be a lot of money but over one year over two years that adds up darling it really adds up and that money that you can easily save if you just take those bank statements and see where your money is going go to your bank ask for those bank statements or maybe just download them it's so easy to download your bank statement now and see where your money is going are there any subscriptions that you don't know of or maybe that you don't use that you might uh, you might be able to to cancel so if they're there please do that step do yourself a favor in the new year new year new you so please try and minimize those costs tip number four guys i'm coming for you minimize debt it's so easy for people my age to really spend money because you have uh, your friends are now working they're earning money if you need anything you might you know just pull up your body and say hey well, I'm high, eh, ritano, eh? give me five thousand i need to do so and so but it's so important for you as um, a young person or as anybody really to try and minimize the money that you borrow because if you borrow money anytime that you have any income you need to pay back unless uh, i don't know i don't know about you but it's important for you to try and minimize it and it's not just the debt that you get from your friends it can be student debt and this is a big one is there a way you can consider trying to um, you know, secure scholarships. Can you do work study opportunities? When I was still, you know, at uni, Jesus, this makes me feel old. When I was still studying, there were opportunities to actually work and earn money while you were studying. So please look around and see if there are ways you can try and, you know, study for less because it's student debt can really be hard to bear. I've been there, done that. It's not easy. So please consider looking for a way to minimize all sorts of debt in your life because this will allow you to actually maximize your savings from any income. When money comes in, you don't have to like pay somebody else. Tip number five, so obvious, make more money. <laughs> it's so easy to save more money if you are making more, really. I personally believe that you need to exercise saving and investing. That would be a video for another time. But it's so it's so important for you to practice saving at you know whichever amount you're earning but you you will be able to save more really if you earn more so is that a way you can try and ask that you know that promotion is that a way you can have you know additional income streams because if you only one you know if you only have one job darling let me break it to you but you are one step away from being broke because if you lose that job if you get fired, if you don't get that client that you are waiting for next month, you are going to be, you know, I don't want to say screwed, but it's going to be difficult for you. So try to think of how you can um, 
as that promotion i know for many people especially if you are young or if you are a woman sometimes you feel like oh i should be grateful because i have this but you know let's please collectively agree guys that we are going to use our potential to the maximum if you see uh, if you see an opportunity to make more money to ask for that raise my darling grab it this is the new year new year new us right the easiest way to save money is to actually make more tip number six this is an easy one automate your savings how do you save do you when you get your money you have to do a transfer to your savings account because this can be really difficult because like money is like hot wood you just it's so easy to be chopped so the easiest way to actually save your money is to what i do personally you can go to your bank and give them a standing order tell them every month on the 31st or on the first or, or on the fifth please take i don't know a hundred random francs from this account to his account this way you're not going to be worrying about whether that money is saved or not it's going to be so easy for you because you'll just money will actually save itself while you're sleeping tip number eight darling can you find cheaper hobbies can you find cheaper extracurricular activities because i know people like i'm here bragging about how i saved one million these are things that i actually applied in my own life uh, to be able to save this money and I've heard, you know, there are people who can go out like people can actually drink one million in one night. So that's so many uh, for me to be able to save one million. I actually had to sit down because I have very expensive hobbies. Like I love traveling. Traveling is not cheap. And I realized that actually catching a flight to go to Paris does not give me more happiness than actually hiking Misoki, which is very close to where i am and relatively way way cheaper darling look at your hobbies is there a way you can minimize the money that you spend by still doing the same thing if you love hanging out with your friends could you maybe host i don't know house parties and ask everybody to bring their own bottles instead of buying everybody beer and spending one million in one night challenge accepted anyway let's proceed uh if you are still with me uh please consider giving this video a like and this channel is subscribe because it really helps me and other creators who are doing free content on this platform and it pushes this content to more people who might benefit from it tip number seven boundaries and i actually realized that one thing that has um held me from saving money in the past is my lack of boundaries and if you are like me and you might have people pleasing syndrome it's really difficult to say no to people especially if they are family or if they are friends i was literally that person that people called and said oh i have a friend oh i have a friend who is getting married can i please borrow money so that i can so i can support them and I would literally say yes without knowing who that person is. And this, this is not Kuguriza. This is, I was not like giving people money so they can pay me back. I was literally just giving like donation. And I've realized over time, this is an exercise that I'm still doing myself. You need boundaries, darling. And what actually helps me uh, is to have a list of do's and don'ts. Um, when when will you say yes to a person because if you have money in your account you don't you, you you are not supposed to give it to everybody you are a good person in your heart you know it but you cannot really solve problems like you cannot solve everybody's problems you can solve some and you need to really make a conscious effort to actually choose where you spend your money but more importantly where you don't tip number nine this is um, having a financial goal in the past before i was able to to save my first one million i would save money for the sake of saving money and guys money is so easily choppable if 
that's a word i have no idea but it's so easy to actually eat your money if you don't have anything that you're saving for so it's really important for you to say oh i am saving to maybe buy a plot of land or to buy a car or to buy my mother i don't know whatever goal that you have but please make sure that you have a financial goal that you're saving towards otherwise darling i hate to break it to you but you're going to chop that money over and over and you're not going to make any progress and tip number 10 this is creating an emergency fund many people don't have an emergency fund and it's really important to have an account that is separate from your savings account like your financial goals savings account it is separate from your current account it's an account that actually allows you to um, spend on things that are unexpected. In my case, currently today, this year, um, it has actually helped me to like fix my car when it, it like nobody plans for their car to break down. But these, this account actually helps you to, um, you know, take care of these silly little things that happen, you know, shit happens to good people so it helps you really um not break the bank or not really lose your mind when something unexpected happens and what you have to do as soon as you use it you have to try and replenish it so this is a separate account it's separate from your financial gold savings account if you need um me to go deeper into what um a, an emergency fund is and how to create one and how much it is for you I'm happy to do so please let me know in the comment section and these are the 10 tips to save towards achieving your financial goals they have helped me personally be able to save my first one million and if you haven't yet been able to save your first million i recommend this and if you have already been able to save your first million this can actually help you I still use these tips they still help me but let me, um, before I leave, let me give you one bonus tip. Um, with this one, you can only save a few coins, but it still, you know, it adds up, it, it counts. Um, with this one, um, you can try and minimize um, how many times you go out. So can you try and sometimes cook uh, at home, you know, take a lunchbox to work and you know your coffee can you try and make your own coffee at home so this is very easy i personally i am a homebody but if you are somebody who loves to go out check your, your like your bank account or your mobile money the money that you spend on food every day take out it can actually be insane so please uh take a look and see if that's uh, an area that can help you to save your first million if you haven't been able to do so yet so thank you very much if you loved this video uh please give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and this is nice life i am here for you you know you are ready to take steps towards living your best life see you in the next episode